I'm literally sitting here waiting for uh, Taika to call me. It's insane. <laughs> I'm gonna get to talk to him on the phone. This is so crazy. <laughs> What, what a, I think this is gonna be my first vlog. That'd be a crazy first vlog, right? You guys will watch that. I can't, I can't look at the lens and the thing at the same time. <laughs> Tyga's calling me. Hello. Yeah, hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. It's here. So, apparently I'm gonna be the first one out of the Microsoft team, like person out of the Microsoft team that's going to see the Xbox Series X for the first time. Not only see it, but hold it. So I'm gonna open it. Let me just pull my scissors that were totally here on purpose. Oh yeah, it's plushed out. So they've got like a lot of, a lot of protection around it as they should. Precious cargo. <laughs> oh, ooh, the weight. It's so cute. You know, it's so weird. You, you can't tell what size it is in the pictures. It's really hard to tell, but it's actually really cute. Ooh, and it's matte. Woo! It's heavier than I thought, too. Oh. Okay, let me open it. What is it with me and the smell of fresh technology? There it is. And it's pride and glory. Ooh. Okay, so here's this, this station that it's gonna be sitting on. <laughs> and it says, I don't know if you can see that. Hello from Seattle on the bottom. So as you might know from the title and the socials, Xbox blessed me with the opportunity to be a part of their campaign, Power Your Dreams, which is a slogan you probably heard a couple times before the console and after the console launched. Xbox had me collab with one of the world's leading research universities. They wanted to get a real live gamer, me, to not only dream and share my ideas, but they recorded me, they had like, we had GoPros up in my room, my living room. They had a brainwave mon monitor that they put on my head, like the band that you guys see in the commercials, the actual band that they used to monitor my brainwaves. And yeah, they let me just drift off not too far, not into REM sleep, but just enough so that I was still conscious enough to hear the guy that was giving, doing the study with me. And he would ask me every now and then like, what are you thinking? Moon level. Can you tell me what you were just thinking about? And I would describe it to him, and since I dream and like, literally, <laughs> dream works like dreams. They're just, honestly, I picture them more in like a cartoony kind of stage. Um, but I think they captured it pretty well. So the way that the study worked was they gave me the headband to monitor my brainwaves, and then they had me sit down and play the Xbox Series X for the first time. They, I was playing it in my living room, so I used my big TV to see it for its full potential. I wanted to watch it in the 4K, you know, or the highest definition I possibly could get it. I played Ori for, I don't know, maybe like roughly 30 minutes or 40 minutes, and every now and then they would ask me a question. On top of playing Ori, I also experienced and some Halo content. So the whole study was based off of what I thought about as I played the Xbox and as I saw obviously Halo, which helped influence the end, the end of the commercial, you know, that y'all saw. <laughs> it was in space. guys could not again could not have been more literal than having me play the xbox and then monitor my brain waves and listen to my dreams after having played the console itself the whole process start to finish involved them explaining to me that they were going to do the dream study which i couldn't fathom what it was going to look like even they couldn't fathom what it was going to look like but they knew they wanted to go with the idea of using an actual dream with actual monitored brain waves and they were fully committed. They went all out, guys. The equipment, the setup, 
we were legit. The whole, the whole filming from my house was legit. Since this was done during COVID, they were being incredibly safe about it. They had a PA come to my house who was a production assistant just to make sure that I had all the equipment. If I had any questions when it came to setup, she could help me. But she stayed outside the house. She was not allowed to come in the house. She also wore a mask. She had gloves. We were being very careful. When it came to the set itself, there were quite a few stations for you to sanitize your hands. Inside, there were two different, um, there were two different sound stages. Inside, they had tables that had sanitization as well for your hands. In terms of waters, usually on film set, people keep water bottles everywhere. There was no instance in which anyone can mix up a water bottle. If you were, you weren't even allowed to be on the soundstage while we were filming unless you had to be on set. And they were, they were enforcing a six foot distance. Guys, when I say they were being so safe, they were trying not to be Batman, all right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard about Batman. Batman got shut down because the main actor got COVID. That sucks. But they had me tested twice to make sure that I didn't have it, which I don't even know what they would have done if I if I had COVID. <gasps> If they cast me out, oh my God, that would have been terrible. We stayed safe, we stayed quarantined, and I didn't hear anything bad, so I'm assuming it went well, since apparently we're reporting on COVID cases. I didn't hear anything about something happening from that filming, so. Sadly, I was not able to record on set what we were doing. Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm really heartbroken I couldn't record it. It was a dream come true watching them not only build the sets based off of my dreams, but the director was there. You guys know Taika, Taika was there. Obviously the whole film crew themselves coming together just to bring all this to life. And I thought it was pretty interesting that majority of the people on the set had no idea that what they were creating was based off of my dreams. They just knew me as the talent. Like I was the one person talent who, by the way, I had a stunt double. I thought that was pretty cool. I had a stunt double, she is amazing. She was so cool. <laughs> You guys tell me whether or not you think that she looks like me. Also, after the filming was done, they went and wanted to record my VO, which is voiceover, to play over the video itself. So they originally had me do some wild lines, which was me recording on set and off set, and just saying some, a few words that were actually recorded while I was doing the dream study in my house. Single paper. I was in a forest and there was this bunny creature thing. I was in a forest. There was this bunny creature thing. They took me to a studio and I got to see my favorite driver from <laughs> the same driver who drove me to set the first two days that I did the filming. Do you remember what I told you I do for work normally? Uh, vlogger, gamer. No. <laughs> um, that's, oh, that's oh, the hobby but, stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, sound design. Yeah. Um, oh, you remember. So VO is pretty common in my, I mean, I'm usually the one behind yeah. the microphone, not, you know. Yeah, you're usually the one conducting this session, not the, not the talent on Ex the mic. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Do you mind being on the vlog? Oh, I don't mind. You don't mind? Yeah. So I can turn the camera Nobody can, uh, Nobody can recognize me anyway. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because I'm uh, in my off time. I'm a, I'm a very famous actor. Actor. Yeah, well, Acting. I'm, I'm interested in in roles that actually interest me. The fact that I I really have no clout. I don't have I don't have a name as an actor. Nobody right. knows who I am. Are so you I, not a list. What? Not even close. Oh, I'm man. like I'm not even. I dream of being on the D list. Oh. Uh, I didn't know there was a D list. There, there there's a D list. Overall, the whole experience was phenomenal. Thank you so much, Xbox, for having me again. I could not have been a more prouder fan. So humbled by this whole experience and. Your girls in the Xbox campaign.